What rotten luck! Oh, Spot, where did you get off to? Spot? Well, look who it is. I'm sure I can't help you. Thank you enough for keeping our mini stable, helping our mini stable come together. Heard me talking to myself, did you? Spot is the name of my beloved horse. It's actually short for Brown Spot, you see. Truth be told, she's, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. He's beautiful, just one look at his silky, gentle beige coat, and you'll know it was him. It looks like Poop Brown. Of course, you'd recognize his unique gray dappling, too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. A horse like him, I bet he's... I bet he was someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. I just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Spotting Spot, can I get my horse, though, in the meantime? Um... Thank you. Have you ever been to the stable at the base of the Dueling Peaks? Yay! So you might be wondering, uh, why on earth am I in Lookout Landing? And I'm hoping that I guessed correctly with the pacing of the episode, because I don't do, do intros and outros anymore. You might have noticed. So this might be in the middle of an episode. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I thought I thought that was like the base of a shrine. I don't do intros and outros anymore, except at the beginning and end of a recording session, so you guys kind of know, um, you know, what's up. That is... I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Well, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'm mixing and matching quests, uh, and so right now I've, I've been told by the comments that I need to go to, to Woodland Stable if I'm go if I am to unlock the great fairies and free them from their confinement. I actually don't remember if they were like in I don't they weren't in prison. They just didn't want to come out. And so we are gonna go to Woodland Stable all the way across all of creation so that we can do that. Man, I was so weak when I was at this stable last. Now I'm strong and I'm not scared of anything. I don't afraid of anything, which is why I'm going to this shrine right now. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Did we know about that? I guess I had this marked. I, th I think I had it marked. Okay, let's let's enter the Akichu shrine so I can get my waypoint for this stable and then we'll deal with the stable. Rise and fall. Okay, uh, this does what? Oh. Okay. That's... Well, this is the easiest mechanic ever. Hey, did you know that s that recall- I almost said stasis- that recall is amazing? You didn't? Well, here's just another reason of 10 billion why it's one of the coolest things ever. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I just want to make sure I'm not missing important stuff. I don't think I am. Oh, wait, 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 the chest is just right there. Hold on. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do raise it up there. Move it back. One of those ones we can climb. Thankfully, this one's super... I, I was gonna say super easy, but they're all super easy. So then my mind went to, it's super right there. Which, honestly... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> is correct. This was, in fact, super right there. This, however, is just super easy. I do apologize if I cough every now and then. Uh, a week ago, I was sick, and um, while I'm not sick anymore... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow! <laughs> I'm getting pushed to my death by, my by myself. Okay, let's try that again. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now what? What malarkey are they going to have us do? What easy malarkey are they going to have us do? What is... Okay, can I... Actually, hold on. Okay, I can't... I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was saying, I was... I was sick at one point, and I'm not sick anymore, but I have this stupid cough. My body hasn't caught up to the fact that nothing's wrong with me anymore. It can stop doing this, but instead it wants to do this. 
It's like, at a certain point, it becomes a habit. And it's like, it's a frustrating habit because I don't need to do it anymore. Okay, step on you. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with the obnoxious bouncing. Which is going to launch me up. One. Two. Oh, there we go. Cool. And that's it. Alright, so we're looking for a music troupe. We have... Ooh, we have a... We have a wagon right here. That's a great sign. That's a sign. Why are you running away from my... The doors. What are you doing? Please don't do anything strange like that to our dear Breezer. How dare you fix it? I hate you. Look, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I'm a photographer. Uh, I think, I think that, yeah, that's the picture. That's a good picture. Sup guys, uh, let's, let's talk to Penn first. All right, mind going through it all one more time. I don't understand biped very well, just to make sure I have all the details. What happened to that that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here uh, one awful night, some time after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon in to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing! That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away, off it ran, into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. A beloved breezer! Some of its wheels broke and now we can't even transport our instrument to performances, or us. At least, no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reasons the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And the one who caused all this was a blonde-haired menace, you say? Could that have been... The woman with the beast, Zelda? Hello there, partner. I didn't, I didn't know you were out this way. You do have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale of woe and of that menace, Zelda. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. That's... Not how you spell blonde. Well, I mean, it is how you spell blonde, um, but it's a—it's actually a the rare gendered spelling in English, and it should be an E. I'm pretty. There should be an E on the end. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Blonde is male. Blonde with an E is female. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could this mystery woman be her? Could she be that menace, Princess Zelda? Of course, we can't put anything to print once we're sure it's true. That's how, that's how, uh, media works. That's how the news works. It has to be true, or else it isn't reported. So we'll have to talk to the Great Fairy first. Ha! Huh, asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. She's that way. You can smell her from here. Look up those hills and smell with your nose. She's over there. Okay. 
we mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without Breezer. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. This is like the identical. This is weird. This is an identical quest to the other woman. I almost wonder, is it like, was that woman we encountered earlier a placeholder for the music troupe? Because this is, I didn't, okay, I didn't do it at an angle. This literally is an identical quest. Where on earth is my horse? Where, get over here. Get over here. You taking a, you taking a smoke break over there? You got that, oh my word. You got that camel, that whatever insert brand of cigar. Uh, let's get our lemons ready. We are a shock and jock master after all. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get that one. And, boosh. All mine. Look at that. It's such a good strategy. Like, if you don't do it, like, I don't know, you're just not playing the game correctly. It's just, it's too strong. It's just the most optimal way to catch a horse with, a, you know, a taser. What are you thinking, partner? The members of the troop mentioned a woman with blonde hair. I think it might be Princess Zelda. Uh, okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'll take you. I can't believe it! I didn't have eyes until now! How could you be on a horse? Oh, that's what they care about. I also did that in front of your face. You commented- oh my word. Violin, he's made some sort of change to Breezer. I can't stand it! I liked it better without wheels. At least those were things that we did. Uh, this is gonna be the first time I ever pull a carriage, I think. How do I... how I do? Huh, no way! You want to s No. What? What? No! No! What do you mean? How do I... how I do? Do I like... I s Let's see. Can I do it? No. No. Do I have to fuse it to the horse? No, 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 you don't! You get back here! You... Dirty... Horse! That's right, I shot you with a demon bow! Get back here! How am I supposed to do this? Wait, 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 they don't need a horse. Am I stupid? First and foremost... Oh. I need a harness on the horse. They didn't need a horse. They needed me to just pull them. That's all they needed. That that poor that poor horse. I I destroyed that horse. It's probably close to death to be honest. Okay, can I I don't What? Um No. What? How I Wait, 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 wait. There's no prompt. Maybe I back this horse up, because this horse has... Uh... Okay. How, what on earth am I getting wrong here? Um, towing harness. Towing harness, right? Yes? Okay. So I have a towing harness now. So I can get on the horse. Certainly this is what needs to happen. Okay. So what I need to do is get them. Oh, I, I get it. I, I, I got it now. I understand. I understand. I just understand. Could you get, get on, get on Breezer. Yeah. And then... Don't worry, I'm- I'm a professional. I'm a professional! I did it! I did the simple mechanic. And now I can pull them. 
Awesome! This is... This is kind of cool, actually. It feels like something, um... It feels like this would have been at home in, um... In Twilight Princess. I mean, it kind of was, just we didn't control it. That's sweet! I'm trying to think of all the uses for this outside of quests, and I can't really think of it. I guess, uh, Koroks, but... There are easier ways to do that. Thank you! We can take it from here! Alright, Maestro, lead us into the performance! Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fairy and for Breezer. We're doing it. We can finally upgrade our gear. I mean, maybe we'll, we'll see. I, I don't actually know what it requires. Maybe we need 9,900 rupees again. I don't really recognize... Oh, wait. We're gonna see a great fairy. I just realized. It just processed. It's... Oh, oof. It's always... It's always a lot. Um, it's always a lot to meet them. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> yep, we gotta get that close-up again of the neck. Yep, that's, that's what they want us to focus on. But she'll only help them, because I am musically illiterate. Behold, Violin! The great fairy graces us with her presence! Oh. Truly divine! What? Oh, it's Pen. Ah. Well, would you look at this? You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. Ah, uh, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. Is she the bad guy? <laughs> she warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't her. I don't like the sound of that at all. To think, I, to think our reporting work might have slandered her wonderful name. She is a wonderful woman and absolved of all crimes in the public eye from here on out. On the bright side, the great fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up to the newspaper. We worked so hard together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go and add this to your nest egg, partner. There's some money. Oh, and there's also this. This is from Tracy. Okay. Neat, I guess. So Titano Village's dye shop in Nekluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know, I'm basically giving you another job to do by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Which would be nice if Tracy handed, handled things a little bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'm going to take the story back and head back and retract an article about Princess Zelda. Oops. Sapa! <laughs> So there was a comment. I'm gonna put it on screen that said whenever whenever Penn says sore long, they hear him say suck balls, and that is exactly what he said. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Okay, Penn just got a lot better, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be saying from now here on out. Maestro, I thought. The rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. Violin, that wasn't it at all. Why, you moved with the you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I heard the other great fairies are also hiding away in their buds. I bet if you, I mean, if we play music for them, that cheer them up too. A brilliant idea! And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop! Wait. 
Is he holding the Wind Waker? No. No way. The Stable Trotters! Thank you for helping us get here. It means so much to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, just you wait. I'll, I just know we'll get the other musicians back to us somehow. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Serenade to a great fairy, complete. Oh, yeah! Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Huh? You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. M <coughs> Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nekluda. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel so much better. May I ask, if you find the other sisters, could you talk to other buds? Could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Uh -huh. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away. Yes! And we get this wonderful animation. Okay, this one's very tame. I'm fine with that. She's just giving us the, the bedroom eyes as she does it. Okay. Cool. Deep Firefly, easy enough. Also, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. The Deep Fireflies actually look a lot like Colgara now that I see that. Huh. Okay, every single piece of gear that I could upgrade, well, barring the the uh, Breath of the Wild DLC stuff because it requires star fragments to upgrade, I upgraded. My motivation behind that, actually, I didn't do this. That, I, I have better stuff. I have better stuff than that. Okay. The idea behind that is I didn't want to pick and choose, um, and I didn't want... I, I am kind of annoyed with how much I have to go into my menu before I fight, um, because I'm worried that I might get one shot, and if I upgrade a bunch of stuff, then that's just going to reduce that happening, so that's that's how I, I'm going about it. All right. Onward. I don't know where my horse went. Um, I can delete this, thankfully. I think my horse despawned. So I am going to uh, warp over, warp over here, over here, and we're going to go uh, further the Dragon's Tears quest. Let's go. I had to land first, apparently. 